guess this is just your basic good versus evil story which is so much better than I was expecting it to be. This is actually out of all the films in the Hammer Collection box set to this point this is probably one of the better ones. Hey guys, welcome along to Here's Rodder's Reviews, the show that loves all things entertainment and shares that love with you. I am your host, Rodney Stewart. Right, we're in the Hammer Horror box set once again, and this movie is The Devil Rides Out from 1968, and it stars Christopher Lee as the good guy for a change. Basically, in this film, uh, him and one of his friends is meeting up for a reunion with another guy uh, who hasn't been seen in a few months so they travel to his mansion and they discover a big party going on and he's saying that he's been initiated into an astrological circle more or less but it turns out that it's actually uh, a devil worshipping cult and him and another young woman are going to be initiated into it that night so Christopher Lee uh, takes on the role of protecting this guy uh, he promised that when his father died he would take care of his son so he's like a pro protege to uh, Christopher Lee's character in this film so um, yes this is just your basic good versus evil story which is so much better than I was expecting it to be. This is actually out of all the films in the Hammer Collection box set to this point this is probably one of the better ones that I've watched so far. Very very good. The effects for its time are quite dated now but still freaky nonetheless and it's and it's down to the brilliant acting of everyone involved in this film. Absolutely fantastic. So good. Uh, even down to the the way that they fight the devil worshippers and at a couple of different points in the film. Christopher Lee is actually using uh, <laughs> a crucifix like uh, hand grenade <laughs> and he actually drives back the devil himself at one point in this film where he chucks a crucifix at him and explodes absolutely fantastic the the cast is amazing now let me just look up this guy's name charles gray sorry completely left my head there is makatu or makata in this film he is the the head of this satanic cult and he definitely presents a real evil presence in this film again the, the acting is so good out of everyone involved um, it makes a nice change seeing uh, Christopher Lee in the lead as a good guy for a change instead of uh, usually turning up as Dracula or uh, uh, Rasputin was the other character he's played so far in this movie collection. Always the bad guy. But this stage or but this one here he was actually the lead good guy. So brilliant. Absolutely fantastic film. I couldn't recommend it higher. Definitely go and check this one out. Uh again through all the films in this box set. This one has been maybe not the most enjoyable, but definitely the most uh, yeah the the quickest paced, let's put it that way. Like I'd sit in the past and a lot of these old movies in this box set are slow burners, slow to get going, but once they get going they're absolutely fantastic. But this one here kind of keeps the an even amount of pressure on from beginning to end. Um, so good. Um, a lot of familiar faces popping up in here. If you are a, a, a geek culture nut job like me, there is a small child in this film whose face looked pretty familiar to me and she was actually 
and an old episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, which would have taken place about what, 25 to no, but 25 years after this film was made. So she's only like 11 in this movie. So she was fully grown in Star Trek Next Generation. She's only in up for one episode, but just a familiar looking face. When I seen her on screen, I just had to look it up on IMDb who she was and what all her things she was on. And that's where I knew her from. But I digress. Uh, yes, the film itself is absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Definitely not a waste of your time. If you're into the Hammer movies at all, you'll probably know this one. And if not, if you're a casual little uh, horror fan that's just starting to get into uh, the whole horror movie thing and you want an easy entry into the horror movies, is definitely the Hammer Horrors as a place to begin because they're not by today's standards, they're not overly graphic. Uh, well, will not give you any nightmares if you're used to the likes of Walking Dead and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, all that sort of stuff on TV. All that there has more has more graphic content than any of these films have had to this point. But this film is genuinely freaky. Uh, again, the effects do look dated, but because of the acting of everyone involved, it really pushes the belief in this movie and just suspend all disbelief and you're, you're in it from beginning to end. Definitely go and check it out.